guys, it's Michelle360. You caught me on my lunch break. I want to talk to you guys real quick about where are we buying our CDs now? Because I don't know about you guys, but coronavirus has really affected my ability to collect and kind of my desire to collect because it's been really tough to find good prices for K-pop. So let me tell you about what's been going on with me and my search for K-pop. Let's start with K-Town For You. So K-Town For You was one of those exes of mine that I'm like, I'm never going to fuck with you again. And then I ran into them at a party and they were looking really good. They had had a haircut. They had been to, through some hard times. They were like, I've changed, baby. I'm not the same man I was before. And I'm like, you know what? I believe you, daddy, especially because you got that new haircut. And then after a few months, you realize they're back on that bullshit. That's pretty much me and K-Town for you at this point. Because anybody who's been an active participant in watching my channel over the last few years, because my saga with K-Town for you is years old at this point, um, they know that K-Town for you was notorious for like having the worst customer service. They were notorious for fucking up your order and then trying to make you pay for their fuck up. Um, they had these weird ass shipping policies that were like, listen, if we ship something to you and it gets lost, we're not giving you no fucking refund because it's not our fucking fault. You're just going to have to eat that shit. Like there was just a lot of bad things about K-Town for you, but then they turned it around and they became the first stop for people to buy their K-pop. And you know, for a while there, I was very content. I was very happy with them and my orders were getting processed correctly. I wasn't having any shipping issues. Like everything was right with the world. But recently it's gone back to poo. It's gone back to poo. Um, number one, their shipping recently has climbed sky high, so they're not even affordable anymore when it comes to buying K-pop. And it's like, if you're not even affordable, then what the fuck are we talking about here? Like, why are we even, why are you even discussing anything? Um, they had that whole thing with the SM reorders and how they fumbled the bag on that. They make sure to put in front of their uh, webpage, they're like, oh, by the way, COVID's affecting us, so everything's going to be fucking delayed. And then just like, their website is trash. Like, no one talks about that enough, but one of the things that is, like, the most annoying thing ever is when people don't have a well-updated, well-running website. And K-Town for you, that very first page when you go to, like, new album, there's so many out-of-stock things on that first page. And if it's out of stock and you know it's out of stock and you can't sell it to anybody, you're not going to sell it to anybody... Hide the fucking links. I cannot tell you how many months the Dynamite cassette and the Dynamite vinyl have been on the first page of K-Town For You's new albums, even though when you click on the link, it is always out of stock. But it's still there as if it's available. You have to click the link to see that it's out of stock. And even if you set it, like, they have a setting where you can click out of stock so that the out of stock things don't show, that bitch still shows up. She's still there. And it's just like, come on, guys, get it together. But the thing that really kind of finalized it for me that probably me and K-Town for you aren't going to be able to fuck together no more is... I wanted to buy the new shiny album and today was the first day that I was able to like concretely confirm that there were going to be two versions. So I'm like, okay, now that I know for a fact that there's two versions, I'm going to go ahead and get them from K-Town for you because K-Town for you does this fan club thing where you have the fan club link that usually has a discount for the fan club and you order it and then it gets into your place. I clicked on all of the shiny fan club links and it was still going for $17.05 per album. I'm like, okay, well, I guess that's, that's the discount, even though I went to Sub-K, and Sub-K was $21.95, and I know their shipping is going to be cheap, because Sub-K ships at, like, U.S. shipping rate, so, like, usually if I order an album from Sub-K, unless I'm doing, like, 10 albums, my shipping is usually between $4 and $10, so I'm, like, $17.05, with their shipping going up, this is going to end up being, like, $30 an album, I don't know if I want to fuck with K-Town for you like this, and for that to be the fan club cry price how much is the regular price i look at the regular price the regular price is 1705 as well so they didn't even give a fan club discount and i'm like fuck you like seriously fuck you i'm not even gonna deal with this anymore so at that point i'm like okay you know what it's time to really just go ahead and let them go so where are we going from here
And because I'm not one of those people who's really stuck on pre-order benefits, I decided I'd do a rundown of all the places where I'm getting my K-pop. And if you would like to leave comments down below of where you're getting your K-pop, if I'm not listing one of your favorite shops, I'd really appreciate it because I'd like this to be a resource, a little, a little check-in, a little update because I haven't done a where to shop in quite a while. So. Um, shops I'm going to currently. I just recently placed an order with kpoptown.com. Kpoptown.com has been around for a really long time. Like back in the day, the shops were uh, Kpop Town, K Town for You, formerly known as DVD Heaven. Um, and what was the other one? It was like Kpop Shop, something like that. I don't fuck with them no more because they gave me a damaged shiny album, so I've kind of erased their name from my memory. But Kpop Town has been around for a really long time. And I decided to use them to buy the DPR Ian album because it was sold out on K-Town for you the very first day. And also they had a couple of other k indie releases that I really wanted. And they've got really reliable shipping. Their shipping rate was, as to be expected, it wasn't super high. Um, and they usually have a really good selection of like K-Hip-Hop artists, a much broader selection and usually better availability than you're going to find on K-Town for you. So that's why I like to use them every once in a while. Also, shout out to Alondra because she was the one who told me that Ian's album was on sale and she put the link for K-Pop Town and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. They're out there. I need to remember to shop them more often. Um, so that's one. Sub K Shop. Sub K Shop is starting to be the real MVP. First of all, they're doing pre-order benefits, they're doing um, fan, virtual fan meets, and their prices are right. You know, the Shiny album was $21.95 from Sub K versus $17.05 at K Town for You, but my shipping was going to be like 10 bucks. So that makes it to where I'm really only paying like maybe $25, $26 a copy. That's not bad. That's not bad at all compared to the $32, $35 I'd be paying on K-Town for you once they hit me with that $30 shipping. So yeah, I'm like, this this is going to work. I'm, I can do this. I can absolutely do this. So Sub-K is one that you need to keep in mind. The only issue with Sub-K is I don't think they get a lot of stock unless it's pre-orders. And so once they sell out of some shit, don't ever expect it to come back. And they get limited amounts and they only really get the most popular acts. Like if you're like, I'm going to go there and see if they have the new car, the garden album. No, ma'am. That's the, they're not the people you want to shop with. Every once in a while, they'll get a couple of like K-hop, K-hip hop artists, but like they're getting the sick K, they're getting crush. They're getting maybe, you know, Jade Park, higher music, but they're not getting any of like that small shit. So got to be careful with them because they're not going to get kind of some of the more niche stuff that some of you might be looking for. Another place I like to go to, um, musickorea.com. So music, Korea, I'm going to try to leave links to all the shops down below. Music Korea is a shop I don't use very often, but I have gotten some really good used albums from them. Now, granted, I paid a ton in shipping, so I don't know if it was the best deal ever, but I got, um, the 369 So Fresh album from um, the whole 3H, Triple H project. I got it used from Music Korea for like $3 or something like that. Plus I had to pay like, you know, $1,000 shipping. And they have very interesting stuff that's on their free slash used side of their site. So it's a resource. It's some place to look for some things, especially if maybe it's like an older group that you're trying to get like some of their past catalog. Also, they just have like really random stuff that sold out other places that just happens to be in their like discount used free section like they had shiny's barcelona photo book there and that thing has been out of print for years literal years so that's what i'm saying like they're worth checking out um another site that i use occasionally um i don't use it as frequently as i used to i used to be heavy on this site ketchupcd.net um ketchupcd.net back when they had their affiliate program i virtually only shopped with them because i was constantly getting discounts so i was like i have nothing to lose then they stopped their affiliate program and i think a lot of people stopped fucking with them after that also ketchup cd does not do pre-orders so it's like get it while you can because it might be sold out quickly but they have some of the best customer service of any k-pop shop regardless it does 
I can't name another shop whose customer service experience is as good as catchupcd.net. Like they, they've stopped me from like double ordering stuff when I didn't mean to. I can tell them, hey, can you send me this particular version? And they will make sure that that's the version that I get. Like they just, they're on it. They're fucking on it. And because of that, I, I really do like them. Their prices for their shipping this last year have been a bit high, to be honest with you. And that's the reason why I don't fuck with them like I used to. But every once in a while, if something sold out somewhere else, I will find myself going into Ketchup CD and picking it up if it's in stock and, you know, being happy that I got it there. So they're a shop I really, really enjoy. Um, import CDs. ImportCDs.com, I have complained about them on this channel a couple of different times. The fact that, like, when stuff is out of stock, instead of just writing out of stock on their website, they put back order. That makes it seem like it's going to come back into stock, and that's not always the case. And so I wish that they would quit doing that. Also, I ordered two of Ono's voice albums from them because there were two versions, and they sent me the same version twice. So, like, fuck that bullshit. But... Their shipping is really cheap, and their albums are usually pretty reasonably priced, and so that's the reason why I recommend them to you guys if you'd like to try them out, because I feel like, you know, you have to have different places to get things, you know, and, and they, if you're in the United States, they're going to ship your stuff media mail, and it's going to be cheap shipping, your album's not going to be super expensive. I got Boa's album from them for a really reasonable price. I think it was like $18 plus like another $3 shipping, so... I couldn't beat it. I could not beat it. And they also have like a lot of stuff that's out of stock other places sometimes. So, I mean, they're worth checking out. Another place that I like to get stuff from is Amazon and Target. I think that that's a gimme, but I mean, it still needs to be mentioned. Amazon, if it's like BTS, Blackpink, NCT, Monster X, usually Amazon is going to have it because those are the same items that are sold at Target. So, both of the twice. So it's NCT, Monster X, Twice, Blackpink, BTS. Those are the main ones you're going to find sold at your local Target, but also sold on your Amazon. And the prices are usually pretty reasonable. They're usually about like between 21 to 30 bucks, something like that. And Amazon is super right to my house. I ain't got to go anywhere. And I actually got two NCT albums from them last night. So that's why I want to make sure I mention Amazon. Target, I go there more to be like able to buy it in the store. I really don't try to order from Target's online shop. But like if the album just came out and I'm like, I just want to get it in my hand and open it right now. That's why I like to go to Target. So I want to make sure I mention those. And then if we're talking about older catalog like if you're somebody like myself who doesn't mind a used album who's not a photo card chaser there's a couple of other places I like to go online to get some of the older stuff to get some of the deals um I like to use Zen Market Zen Market is by far one of my favorite Japanese proxy sites ever I think the reason I like Zen Market so much is because I don't have to pay for shit for quite a while, so it makes me happy. Um, so if you are a customer for Zen Market, when you first become a customer, they want you to pay up front, and then they'll buy your shit for you. If you've been a customer for an extended period of time, especially if you've ordered a certain amount of things and they know that you're good for it, you can build up a credit line with Zen Market. And currently, my credit line is like $400.00 don't get it twisted. I, I have never spent $400 in one go on Zen Market. That's never happened. I think the most I've ever spent in one go with Zen Market is like maybe 150 in one go. And that was to get like huge boxes of stuff and the shipping was like 50 bucks. But anyway, I have built up credit with them over time. And because of that, I've been able to buy a lot of stuff in anticipation of a paycheck and then pay them for that stuff when I'm ready to get it. So I really like them a lot. They were a lot better back when they could shop on Mercari, but then Mercari did this weird thing where they're like, we're not allowing any proxy shop shops to, to shop with us except for Bai. And I think Neokyo is one, is one I haven't used yet, but I think that people shop the Japanese Mercari through them. But like, Bai became the official proxy site for shopping off of the Japanese Mercari. And so when Zen Market lost Mercari, that was really, really sad for me. But they still have Yahoo Auctions. So, I, I mean, I can't complain that hard. 
Bai. I'm not a fan of Bai, to be honest with you. I feel like Bai's prices are high. That's probably the reason why I don't shop from Japan anymore. The first Japanese proxy set I ever used was from Japan. I liked from Japan. And then I noticed that it was cheaper uh, commissions over at Zen Market. So I went with Zen Market. But Bai, I don't like their website. I'm just going to say that. Their website is just so cluttered and like just it's hard to read and the way that things are written and the way they apply coupons it's like nothing really makes sense to me unless I want to dedicate a smooth half hour to trying to figure it out but yeah by ease of use not whereas Zen Market is so fucking easy to use which is why I use them all the time and then of course like everybody and their grandmother there's always eBay and you know eBay is hit or miss because you are dealing with individuals and every individual does business differently but there are a couple of reasons why eBay will always stand out to me as a great place to shop for k-pop and it's because eBay there are a couple of like commercial sellers on eBay that I always know I can rely on so for instance um oh hand doll making can always rely on hand doll making to have authentic signed merch and that's really important because like there's a lot of people who have been doing forgeries oh man I saw this one forgery on Twitter it was hilarious it was a red velvet forgery and it looked like somebody's third grade kid did the forgery it was awful but if you want authentic autographs hand doll making hands down always reliable I think the person who runs hand doll making might have a connect at like music shows or something because they get promo stuff like stuff that isn't even for sale anywhere they get promos and they get signed promos so hand doll making on eBay is really good um, great music cannot say enough good things about great music they routinely have merch that you can't get anywhere else like if you're trying to buy stuff that's only sold in Korea that they're not shipping to the States usually great music has got that for you now you're gonna pay a lot because their markup is steep but they're very reliable and so that's why they're one of my favorite shops on eBay and then like I don't know I've gone through a lot of different shops over the years so there's there's little pockets here and there. There's a few photo card sellers that are really handy that I've used here and there. But for the most part, you know, just pay really close attention to the descriptions. Pay, pay really close attention to the photographs. You know, like really engage your mind. If you have a question on something, instead of taking a chance, go ahead and ask the seller your question. Because you're offering them money. And if they don't want to fuck with you, they're not going to fuck with you. But most people, if you're polite and respectful and tell them, this is what I'm looking at, can you help me out? They're going to treat you well. And so that's the reason why I really, really like to shop on eBay for certain things. Like eBay is where I got my shiny snow globe because SM1 talking about shipping that shit to me. So that's why I, I can't say enough good things about that. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about... Number one, knowing what your priorities are when it comes to what you're shopping for. If it's got to be new, if it's got to be pre-order benefits, if it's got to be um, a certain s speed of shipping, you have to have all that in mind. And then just comparison shop. Open up like six or seven tabs on your laptop or, you know, open up six or seven tabs on your phone and just fill your cart and then see what the final total will be and whoever has the best final total go ahead and shop with them you know it's it's that easy um and also like pay attention to the shop's reputation like if you find a new shop and you're like i don't know i'm not sure go on youtube you're you're here now go on youtube and see what kind of reputation the shop has um go on twitter and type in the shop's name and see what people have to say you know there's a lot of things you can do to protect yourself as a consumer and i know it takes time and it's not fun and it's not sexy but at the end of the day it is your money and i don't care how you got it it's yours it's important to you 
and you should try to get your best deal, your most protected sale, the sale that's going to make you the happiest. Oh, shit. Another shop that I forgot. I don't know how I forgot this because I literally have an order coming from them. Music Plaza, Choice Music LA. I don't shop with Choice Music LA anymore for personal reasons because they said some wild shit about some idols on Twitter and it's kind of a pattern with them. Also, the fact that they're trying to push this whole Choice Music game thing is like, listen, friend, I don't care about a K-pop shop enough to wear your fucking merch or put your stickers all over my shit. Like, that's that's not happening, right? It's... it's get over that. I don't shop with you because of you. I shop with you because of your inventory. So like, wake the fuck up. But Music Plaza, Music Plaza, I have shopped with them a few times as well. Their pricing is very similar to the Sub K shop and I really like them. So I can't recommend them enough. Um, their shipping is slow. I will say that um, because they're shipping their stuff from Korea to them. And then once they get their shipment, they're then breaking it up into individual orders for people. So a lot of times like something will come out and they won't get it in their hands for like a week. And then it'll take another week to get to you. So if you're talking about I need my stuff immediately, don't choose Music Plaza. Don't choose Choice Music. But if you're willing to wait because you are willing to pay less shipping, then, yeah, Music Plaza. I absolutely would recommend them. I have, I've had really good results with them, so they're, they're on my list. They're absolutely on my list. But anyway, just, you know, be conscientious. Because one thing that we have to acknowledge is that so many people will blame a shop for piss poor service or for not doing what they were supposed to do but they didn't take the time to look and see the credentials they didn't take the time to investigate and i've been guilty of that too especially like group orders and stuff like that like i didn't take the time and so that's the reason why i say like take the time if it's important to you especially if you want to develop a reliable person like if you want to have your go-to shop it's worth it to take the time and see like what are my options do I like the way they do business because it's going to give you peace of mind moving forward and it's going to make the whole process so much easier so anyway that was my talk about you know go to k-pop shops it was a little bit longer than I planned to I was not planning to do a 22 minute video but hopefully the information I gave you is very helpful to you and like I said if there's any shops that I missed that you've had really great encounters with leave it in the comment section because we're all out here trying to find a deal shit is COVID times not everybody's got as much income as they used to but they're still trying to support their faves so if we can do it in a way that's more economically friendly then let's just do that all right guys talk to you later bye